Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 195. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, in Trick 185, we're going to do a grade book. And in fact, all of the tricks from 193 to 197 are different types of grade books. Now, in this grade book, we want to subtract the lowest score and then calculate a grade from that. This will update. I have a formula. As soon as we calculate our uh, proper total, it will update over there. Now, what do we do? Um, our um, syllabus says that we're going to take uh, three quizzes, three tests, but we're going to subtract your lowest quiz. So in essence, you can have bomb a day or even miss a day and uh, not get penalized. Let's see the formula for that. I'm going to type, I'll make this a little bit bigger first off. Let's see if I can do this. Our formula will be equals SUM, open parentheses, and then I'm going to highlight uh, all of these right here. So all of the scores minus, and we want min, which means minimum, the minimum of just these three. Now, for the totals column, it'll be, uh, it'll subtract 125, so the, the total maximum for the class will be 350. I'm going to put a closed parenthesis on this. Notice these are relative cell references, so as we copy it down, it'll calculate the scores. And if I uh, double click my fill hand, and notice I control enter there to keep the cell highlighted. That way I can immediately do, do something to it, like copy it down. I'm going to point to my fill handle. That's that thing right there. And when I move my cursor close and see that crosshair or angry rabbit, I can double click and send it down. Now we can come uh, down here to the bottom and hit F2. Sure enough, it, uh, it's not showing us it right there. Uh, but you can see it up here, sum of the uh, C18 to H18 minus C18 to E18, which is that right there. I'm going to click Escape. Now, we can go ahead and calculate um, our grade. By the way, some people like to insert an extra column and just show the min thing and then have a separate third column, extra column, so two extra columns, where they do the subtraction. We did it all in one there, which is fine and efficient. Now, we want to do a V lookup here so that we can uh, automatically calculate our grade. The way the V lookup works is uh, it will take a particular value, let's say this one, uh, 272. The V lookup will look here, put it in memory, go over to the first column. And it go racing down until it bumps into a value bigger. It'll hit that. It'll jump back here. It'll go over to the second column, grab the C, and then throw it back in the cell. All right, let's see how to do that. Equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this. That's the thing it puts in memory, comma. Then we need a table. And that's this whole table right here. Now, this table needs to be locked. And so when I copy it down, it's not a relative cell reference, so I'll hit F4. F4 puts the dollar signs in front of the uh, column reference and row reference. That way it's locked. So when I get down here, it's still looking at the same correct table. Comma, then it wants column index. Column index is, hey, this table in L and M, since this is the first column, what is this? This is the second column. So if we're trying to retrieve something from the second column, we've got to put a two, a 2 there. The final argument we don't need because we're doing an approximate uh, match. You can't really see that on the screen there. It's an approximate match. Uh, which means we can have gaps. We don't have to have one, two, three, four exact discrete numbers or words, which would be both exact match. We want to have all the values from here all the way up to here, but not including that, get a C. So we have to use true or the number one. But guess what? By default, it, it uses that setting. So we can actually just avoid it all together, because by default, it'll do that. I'm going to close parentheses, control enter to keep that cell highlighted and put the formula in the cell, and then double click and send the formula down. I'm going to click in the last cell and hit F2. Sure enough, it got it right. It's looking at that score, and it's still got grabbing the right table. All right, so that's grading where you subtract them in. All right, we'll see you next trick.